All right, good morning, guys. Welcome to another one. Uh, we're out here on a on a chilly uh, Saturday morning here at Finish Line. So I'm gonna run through. As you can see, um, the lot's already almost full. So we'll run through. I'll show you guys what fun stuff we have today. Uh, you know how we do. I got this. I got my ears in, um, and we're gonna have some fun. Guys, hang out. Let me know what you think, and uh, we're gonna get at it. All right. think you have the setup and then you walk into someone like this look at that that's that's what i need right there all right guys so we're gonna start going up and down the rows got a handful of the classic porsches um if you guys haven't seen finish line before there's always this really good eclectic mix of uh old classic cars along with some uh some of the newer you know exotics so i mean it's kind of interesting to see similarities in between like the tvr or excuse me the tr6 and like the old school ferraris you can tell they were built around the same generation just with the the lines and everything else and then next to that, it's the Mercedes. They all kind of have the same feel. They're definitely not the same, you know, looking car. They don't look the same, but you can tell they're from the same generation, have that kind of feel. So we've got a bunch of different, a bunch of different Porsches through the generations parked down on this side. Um, they're interesting because like any other like any other meet you go to or set of projects that you see each one's built a little different you have the the super oem stock to you know what i'd reference like an oem plus it's still very much in lines with the generation of porsche you know the look and everything else it just has slight upgrades you can tell suspension brakes stuff like that have been done come down through here's another one that's been lowered but kept more of that oem plus feel still running in actual porsche wheels just blacked out suspension and then you got all the way up through like the new take on so it's pretty cool i i like coming out here because I get to see a good mix of classic cars and not just like the normal classics, but I mean, I've got an old Jag coming up. I will have cars come out that I don't even know initially, you know, and I'll have to take a good look at them just to, you know, to recognize what they are because you just don't see them that often. Um, the old Jag is gorgeous. This is one of the ones when they when they open the hood or the bonnet, everything rotates forward and it actually like rests on the little bumper guards right here. Another reason why I like coming out, GT350 Mustang. He's gonna park next to a 427 Cobra. Sounds good. And then all of that, comes up right next to a run of Ferraris, GT3 RS maybe, um, and then like I've got an old Ferrari, uh, an old Alpha, you know, so, and if you guys haven't spotted the white one over there, 
we'll we'll go over to the Renault. So yeah, GT3. So uh, we literally have the full run of, of Porsches here. Got a race prepped uh, GT350. Which if I remember correctly, that one that one has a signature on the dash. So that one's signed by Shelby. Um, This is pretty cool. I mean, look at the, doing the whole wide body thing definitely isn't a new thing. The, <laughs> they were doing it all the way back here. Doing a good job of it too. This is, this is a fun little car. Another GT, uh, another GT3 here. Got a couple old Zs, those are cool to see. But there's always a different mix that comes out. So I'm gonna try and run you guys through. I mean, you can see the parking lots through. It's not a themed, it's not a themed meet. So the whole like, like runway section down through there isn't full. Uh, they have a couple, a couple highlighted cars parked up. So well, let's see what else we got. A bunch of Porsches today. An old Woody, which actually is interesting because it's really like tastefully or lightly modified. So, like from the exterior, if he had the hood shut, you know, it just looks like a really clean Woody. Uh, you might spot that he's got custom wheels on it and everything else. Um, the stance looks good, but with the hood open. You can tell he's got the full built motor. I wonder what kind of chassis it's running. Interior looks super stock. Wow. It's really clean. This is one of those ones that was one of those love projects where they had a thing for the Woody growing up or something and just had to have one built that, you know, that that right there is a perfect, a perfect build, at least from the exterior or what I can see. The the old Mercedes, the old SL, like the whole like Art Deco look of it, the dash, everything else, it's super clean. It, I really like the styling. We had an MR2, he was here last time. Um, I laugh a little bit because it's like a first gen MR2, but you can't really dismiss it. The more you look at it, the more you understand or, or realize that it's like showroom stock. There's the paint has just a couple little minor imperfections. The interior for the age is spotless. I mean, it's, it's pretty funny, you know, but it's one of those things. Everybody has. Everybody has that car that they like or that they grew up, you know, really just in love with. And then, you know, you end up with something like this where, you know, I'm sure this was something they either had when they were younger or, you know, just a car that they always loved because that right there is showroom stock and absolutely just beautiful. We still got cars rolling in, as they usually do. Um, yeah, what we look like is a race prep 427. What's what's fun about what's fun about here is like the 427s aren't necessarily kit cars at this location. The 427s could actually be true 47s here. Uh, normally the only way I tell is if I have talk, if I get a chance to talk to the owner or like they have classic plates on them. Um, but this is one of those events where like a 427 could actually be a 427. 
Uh, Lancia is pretty cool. See, again, that's like a car you don't normally see. So that's what I really enjoy about coming to this specific meet. Um, I'm going to run through, you know, my other favorite thing here is the garages and, you know, when somebody opens up a garage and we get to see their, their collection and everything else. So I'm going to run through, I'll keep showing you guys what we got here and, uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. all right i kind of mess with them i always call them the late crew because they always come in just a little bit after everything started right before everybody starts to go home but they always come in hard with a great group of cars so porsche ferrari mclaren that one's a 720 you got another 720. You got the yellow NSX. Spoon calipers. Yeah, so that crew, that crew always rolls in hard, which I I gotta like it. I mean, you just show up, you just show up in style. You know, everybody's already here. Everybody's all settled in, and they all just roll up sometimes four six twelve fifteen deep and it's always a really good set of cars so uh i i gotta give them props for that i'm gonna show you guys a couple more cars that i've seen roll in um otherwise we're pretty much set for the day i hope you all enjoyed it you guys let me know what you think drop some comments below if you guys like what i'm doing check out some of my other videos if that that's what i do so if you like it, hit that subscribe, hit that notification. We'll keep running through and uh, I'll see you guys at the next one. All right, thanks. cars that are here we are uh we're gonna take a hard look right here at the fl5 i mean you know we got a lot of good stuff here but it's a brand new civic type r and i mean you, you know how i feel about the hondas all right guys so this is the new this is the new fl5 that we were talking about um they actually asked them to park out a little bit um but i didn't realize when the car was coming in who was actually in the car so the guys over here in the who we got talking about over here uh if you guys don't recognize them the guy in the center right there is uh rj devera um he huge huge honda community everything from all the way back the original fast and the furious one um I'm honestly a little disappointed they didn't let the car in um but you know they have their their run of cars that they they want on display and everything else here um and you know they they run the event so i was kind of disappointed that they turned them around and put them back out here but you know it's their event so they get to say you know who comes in and who doesn't um but in between the FL5 and uh, our man right here, like this this car actually, I I think should have been more highlighted. 
but it is what it is. You guys know I'm a Honda guy, so I'm of course gonna favor this car even, I mean, you heard me right when it came in. I was, I was more interested in seeing this um, than a lot of the other cars that were already in, but it doesn't fit that exotic or that, especially the classic theme that they do run here. So it is what it is. Um, but I would love to get my hands on one of these and uh, do a little track drive. So you guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna close it out now and get out of here. I hope you all enjoyed and uh, we'll keep doing this. All right, see you guys. All right guys, thanks for hanging out to the end. Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, let me first off by saying, I, I really enjoy this event. Um, this event is a private event um, and any meet or organizer is more than welcome to set up uh, their event the way they want to. So with all that said, I was, I was actually really disappointed that at the end, um, that brand new uh, Civic Type R, the FL5, went to pull in and the event organizer told them, oh, no, I'm sorry, can you park outside? Which, if the event had been, one, a themed event that, you know, was specific towards a certain type of car, or even full or something like that, that I would 100% I would understand it. And again, any organizer, anybody that runs a meet or an event or anything else, A, is more than welcome to say what they, they want or not want in. But I was really surprised that they were like, oh, that's not the type of car we want here. Um, now I know for a fact, we've been coming out here long enough that in the private garages, although the collections are super eclectic and everything from, you know, one-off um, exotics, um, super, super high-end expensive cars and everything else, um, I actually know there's Hondas in there. I, there's, a, there's a yellow uh, FK8, you know, the limited edition one that they only put out like 400 units or whatever of. I know there's one in there, so there's Hondas in there. Uh, not five minutes before that, they let a group of cars in that had exotics, had an NSX in it. Um, so, I mean, we can, we can argue all day that, you know, certain cars or whatever, yeah, you know, they're more high end or, you know, whatever, but there were, there were regular, you know, quote unquote, regular cars at this meet. I mean, there was a Model 3 there. There was some other, you know, there were some other cars. So I was just kind of curious that, you know, well, did they turn them away because it was a Honda? Did they turn them away because it looked stock? Um, did it just not fit even though today's event wasn't, you know, today's meet wasn't a themed meet? Um, I don't know. Uh, and, and in the end, should it even bother me? You know, um, I was just, I, I was kind of, I was kind of taken back by it that like, a car would be turned away like that. And, and again, event organizers are more than welcome to do what they do. But does that mean if I wanted to roll up with my R32, um, you know, and bring Project Shinigami up here that I would be turned away? And would I be turned away because it's a JDM car? Would I be turned away because it's an older Nissan? Or would I be let in because it's an R32 and it's more exclusive or it's a uh, right hand drive. So, oh yeah, okay, cool, come in. Or would I get the same treatment and be told, oh, that's not the type of car we want here. So anyways, um, like I said, I, I really appreciate you guys hanging out to the end. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Normally at the end, I don't have this tour, this type of, uh, I guess, rant, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that was one of those things that it actually bothered me today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate all your support. We are almost at a thousand subs at this point. I'm, I'm super close. I'm in the, I think at this point, like almost 950. So like we are, we are pushing, uh, again, as always, I appreciate your support. If you're new to my channel, one, thank you for hanging out all the way to the end. Um, and thank you for hanging out through this, through this rant. Um, normally again, this isn't, this isn't part of my videos. Um, 
Uh, if you guys like what I'm doing, please pass it along. Um, subscribe, like, hit that notification. Uh, I run through these and my normal is at least Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to put out, put out these vids for you. Um, and we're going to get going to the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you.